I keep seeing, but I don't want to click it. It says free digger D. Is he in jail again? I couldn't find it nowhere. They brought me to Wikipedia. Right? Age. So, so he's 21. Formation of 1011. Formed the drill group 2011. Double tap diaries. Mixtape madness. Present made in Pyrex. Criminal behavior. Order. Right? Because of their arrest on November 9, 2017, Digger D and 1011 were given a criminal behavior order. Okay? Then conditions of Digger D's CBO included being fitted with a GPS tracker on his leg. Right? Okay? The CBO ban. What does CBO mean, bro? See, these are some charges that man don't get, bro. Like, what's it? Cri oh, criminal behavior order. <laughs> yeah, no. I mean, what's that, bro? Criminal damage, bruv. You break a telephone box window or something. Do you know what I'm saying? This is what they're doing, bruv. The, right? Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, wait. So, hold on. So, GPS tracker on his leg and being made to check with probation every three hours, as well as having to notify the Met Police when he uploaded any songs or videos within 24 hours of upload. Now, you lot would interpret that. This is a bad man, innit? He's like, no, it's a nuisance. He's a delinquent. Every three hours with probation, bro. What, 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 what are you doing out here, bro? Every three hours. Jesus Christ. I've had a man go in police station every day and signing on. Every three hours, bro. Now, this is a video for Chatty Patty, bro. He will not be able to resist this one. Because I'm going to put Digger D in the title. Yeah, okay, bro. Do it. And I'm going to flag it. This is exactly why I'm doing this video as well. Because I know you can't resist it. So do it and I'll flag it. That's all. So do it. And I'll flag it, bro. And I'm going to stop deleting my videos because you keep jiggling, wiggling through on it. Okay? So, you do it and I'll flag it. It's not a problem, bro. Okay? Fuck all that anti-authority shit, mate. I don't see why other people's channels keep growing, keep growing, keep growing. But mine don't go nowhere, bro. Now, I know I delete all my videos. I do all that kind of crazy shit, bro. It's called confusion, bro. But you know what, yeah? I don't delete them no more. What I do, yeah, bro, is make them private. Okay, so you think I ain't got the videos no more. You check my website, innit? And you see what, what ones are up and what ones ain't. And you get fooled by it, right? That's what I want you to do, you fucking idiot. Okay, so when I open it back up, yeah, I can see all your videos and counteract them with mine again. So this one here, you definitely gonna make one for. Because it's got Digger D in the title, bruv. And you think it's gonna bring you dough, innit? Yeah? Hard old bread money. So the conditions of Digger D's CBO included being fitted with a GPS tracker on his leg and being made to check in with probation every three hours, as well as having to notify the Met Police when he uploaded any songs or videos within 24 hours of upload. Any releases that incite, incited violence mentioning certain areas of London or lyrical references to real life incidents or people in in music in their music would be not would not be permitted. There's a list of about 18 to 20 people that Reese isn't allowed to associate with, most of whom make up his friends from school or friends from his area or people that police deemed were part of a gang that he was part of, explained Digger's lawyer. Cecilia Goodwin, moreover, visually, there are take certain things which are not allowed to be portrayed. Any breach of the CBO would result to recall in prison. <laughs> delinquent, bro. This is not bad man business. This is delinquency, bro. Okay? Delinquency, bro. And I'm going to show you it in a minute. Yeah? He has since been back to prison twice, including for preaching the sting... The stringent conditions of his CBO. While Digger was rec recalled to prison in 2019, Digger was stabbed in the eye, causing him to lose use of the eye. Don't lie. Causing him to lose use of the eye, he was stabbed with a blade fashioned from a tuna can and corded to official at the Ministry of Justice who was not authorised to publicly discuss the matter and who spoke on the condition of an anonymity. Goodwin, his lawyer, said that the rapper had been struggling with post-traumatic stress disorder after that. I told you, blood. That's why you saw him big. Told you. Did I not tell you that he was on medication, bro? Yeah? Because that's what happens. I didn't think he was on medication because of that. I just think he can't do his bang up. Yeah? Okay? He's on medication for post-traumatic stress disorder because that will keep him a fraggle. Okay, bro? And it will keep him on the hospital wing. Okay? On the hospital wing where there is no more people on there that are road-minded. No, there's nutters in there that will hurt you, but they're crazy. It's not personal. There's nuts. Okay, that environment is a lot more preferable to some niggas than general population, all right? You go on there, hospital wing, boy, you got everything, bruv, everything, mate, 
everything. The hospital wing in, uh, I don't know, 1990, 1980, whatever, bruv. It, look, it always looked 15 years ahead, mate. Yeah, you know, when we never had no radios, they had radio in the wall. TV they had, you know what I mean? They get extra cake and custard at night time, bro. Do you understand what I'm saying? Yeah, and most of the wankers go there. I'm not saying he is, but let's go. Um... The CBO ban issued to 2011 was condemned by the campaign group Index. Hold on, wait. Oh, yeah, here we go. Here we go. After the attack. In March 2020, Diggy D pleaded guilty to violent disorder. Violent disorder. It's not even violence. It's not even violence. Yeah, violent disorder again and breaches of his CBO. He was sentenced to two years and six months for his role in a machete brawl with rival gang members in front of shoppers in West London. Well, if anyone got chopped, he would have got more than that. Okay, if anyone that's jumping around, swinging machetes about, yeah, fooling the public that they're hard. Okay, man, in front of shoppers in West London. Who does that? Yeah, you catch man in the back roads, blood. Yeah, get me everything these guys do. Yeah, they hope that bystanders and police stop them, you know. They don't even want to be there doing what they're doing, but they've got to do it because the rest of their friends are doing it. These, these guys are not certain, bro. They're not official, blood. Yeah, it, you, you, you what? Machete brawl with rival gang members, front of shoppers in West London. Other members of CGM were also charged, including Sabo, who was sentenced to three years imprisonment after pleading guilty to violent disorder, possession of an offensive weapon and breaches of a CBO. Three years. He was arrested again in July for inciting violence after attending a Black Lives Matter protest in London and posting about the movement on Instagram. Right after being released from his previous arrest, rumours circulated that police had taken the rapper back into custody, which was later confirmed. Again, they are on me, the rapper is heard saying in a video, as he is being cuffed. For what? No reason. He has since been released, still under conditions of his CBO, asked in an interview with The Face. Yeah, if he was treated unfairly, he replied, oh, of course, 100%. They didn't ban me from music at first, only as it started hitting millions and they saw me prospering from it. And they actually believe that, you know. They actually believe that, you know. They actually believe that they're being unfairly treated, bro. What about the people that you jumped out from in front of your machetes, bro? You were scared to death, people. Pickney, their kids, all of that. Because I know you lot did it in the most baitest place. Yeah, the most baitest place where there's going to be the most chance of you getting stopped by police, mate. Because how can people be swinging machetes about, right? There'll be a bigger sentences, bruv. Look, it took about four different charges for the man to get a three-year bird. You swing that machete and chop someone, bruv. You're getting that one time and more. And mash. So the man's... So, let's look at his, um... Discography, bruv. The man's very talented, bruv. Yeah, if you like that type of shit. Look, 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 look. Gold. You know, gold again, silver, silver, silver. You know, chingy, what, it's whatever. You see, the companies promote violence and don't even realise it. Gunlean. Yeah, ain't that my man? Ross Millions featuring Taze, LD, Digger D, Miss Banks and Lethal Bizzle. Garbage. Non-album singles. Gotcha. Be the one. Right? List of single guest appearances with other performing artists showing... Year release and album name. Get in that Jeep. Glee, take that. Filmography, Defending Digger D himself. BBC documentary, bro. When he was definitely, definitely bloated for medication. And these are all references with him. You lot make them famous. This page was edited 1st of October. Now let me show you something. We got 95 Crip, this is your material still, bruv. Yeah, okay, I, I'm not, listen, bro. I'm not one of them fake niggas, bruv. Okay, hold on. 306. The only other way for me to get information that I wanted, bruv, yeah, was the fucking, well, where is it? The fucking classify you, bruv. There it is, look, Digger D back inside, Russ sending shots, right? Okay, you speak about the same thing, right? Uh, 95. Yeah, 115,000 views in one day. Okay, no disrespect to you when I say this, bro, but you more certain, you more official, okay? You got 3.4k views in one day. Why is that, bro? Yeah, why, don't, don't you wonder why that is as well, cuz? Why these people would choose, why they would choose, oh, let's go, let's, let's let it run. Yeah, why would they choose to overlook a certain looking gun, okay, bro, to a water mouth, 
yeah, can't talk properly, lisp in his mouth, fucking little, what's it called again? Fucking danger mouse and Penfold looking brother. Yeah, okay, bruv, everybody goes there. Big up Best of Fire, Scar City, Big up Ape Honcho, Kingdom Media, bruv. Okay, you never see these guys. Okay? You might see Kingdom Media, I'm not sure. I don't know about him. Okay, but you won't see the others. Not to touch you, won't. Okay, you'll never see them, but you verify them as real. You give them a bigger voice than the man them that are 30, bruv. The man them that will actually link you if you want to link them. Yeah? Okay? But you know what it is, bro? You know what they say? Misery likes company, innit, bro? So to believe someone's living like you, bro, is cool, innit? So you fraggles live, right? So let's let Nine Fires play out, bro, because in here, you get to hear everything, okay? But there's a part in here that I should do right now regarding Digger D, right? Let me do it now so it just falls in line. So here he is in jail, boasting about what vape is that? Oh, it's some Cali thing. Bro, you not... I don't know if you don't know, bro. No, way before I was on YouTube, mate. Yeah, okay, I, I, I'll put the video up, innit? Way before you, bruv, I had all of them. Kush, uh, Presidential OG, Banana OG, um, uh, all of them, man. Fucking Sour Diesel, Grape, um, Strawberry, um, bruv, all of them, bruv. I had all the flavours, bro. Yeah, straight from Miami, packaged properly, okay, bruv. And you get the kit to go with it as well, bruv, if you want to spend that. Yeah, the vape oil. Man had them in boxes, bro. Yeah, do you know what I'm saying? Right? Now look, man's in jail. You locked down, locked again. You locked again. Again, look, 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 look. Look at him. Right now, this is what causes. This is what causes them to get depression, right? Look, he can't do his bang up. Look, 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 look. Okay, my bad. But at the same time, it's true. But I'm saying. I thought it was Digger D, bruv, being in jail talking about these, um, vape pen, bruv. No, it's obviously, um, 9-5 was talking about it, yeah? So, my bad, but at the same time, yeah, what I was saying was true. I had them long time ago, mate. Man, them going hospital to finish man off. What? Oh, yeah, I see this when the man stabbed him in the back. Let's go. Look at this, look at this. There's only so much of this you can do to pass time, you know? Yeah, okay? Remember, he came out of jail traumatized. Look. This is the guy that said he punches up old, doesn't it? So, so does his eye work then? Man said his eye, his eye don't work no more. That must have hurt though, brother, man. Because I wake up every morning, my eye gets stick, brother. And that, that shit fucking hurts, bro. Like, what's all that, bro? But you see, when you're young, right? I'm not, listen, I'm not trying to take it from them, bro. But my God, you lot are much more advanced than when we was young, right? Why are you still getting nicked for idiot business when on the other side of the table, bro, is a good life that you can create for yourself, bro? Even if you are naturally delinquent, bro, yeah? Don't you have no one around you? Or don't you even have every now and then a moment of clarity to say, you know what? I could make millions, yeah, or I could just keep on frequenting a fucking prison cell, yeah, and I have to do this to pass time, I have to do this to pass time, like, what they think is hard, but man's not wearing his own clothes, yeah, man's in jail, yeah, in the oldest prison tracksuit you can think of, bruv, okay, why, uh, and why is he single? <laughs> Let's go, bro. Let's see what else is going on. Taze throw rust splash chain in crowd. Jolting. Man getting punch up at festivals. Wow. Well, well, my people don't know it's 9 5 yeah. I see that thing where that new taze must have dashed his brass glove chain. Rust is chain into a crowd of people. But when you're doing dead movements, they used to look like hate. It's like, the fuck if I man that's chaining the thing and man doing better than you, bro? This is the thing about this whole team. But the cheap to be fried man's chained to the ticket and the man just doing better than you, bro. Think man cares about that, then when you get chained. Families look like a hater of that thing there, big man thing. 
when I saw that I'm disappointed in man's still car, the coyness of man's breaking on man's cousin from way back at time, you can turn around, get man set up, and you're gonna cheat to be friend, man's chained the fucking crowd of people, bro. See that in the snakeish movements there, I hate them snakeish movements, bro. They just start disappointed from that, you there still, you understand? But when you took my man's thing and set up, my man's like disappointed of that thing there, bro. You understand what I'm saying? Now you're gonna cheat to be friend, man's chained there, but the fix up, man. You understand what I'm saying? Yeah, that's a sneaky move, bro. Yeah, if you and the man's got something, brother, you've got something, and you just done it lesser, brother. You both walk separate ways, G. They don't need to be doing that sort of hate-ish mentality, bro. Cause that's why them man there won't get nowhere. Look where the other youth's gone. The other youth's gone clear now, you get me? And then we've got this huge friend chasing the air, bro. It's dead for you, fam. Come on, bro. Like, man has got to move better than that. If you don't know, you get me? Man's been airing things from the grave, like, man go fucking certain functions and get punch up. But when I act like they're fucking bad boys in their music and that, how come you men are talking about when you went function and got punched up? Remember, I didn't spit no names. But man going to big grass club festivals, big grass club places, and get punched up, man. And the man same guys when they come and talk hard on their tracks, bro. Bro, forget that. Get the fuck out of there and all of that, brother. I'm not listening to a man talking tough, bro, and I know man's getting pumped up. And you get me? Even these niggas are certain niggas bad for one certain niggas, but ain't bad for another certain niggas. The, the, these are the niggas that are frauds, brother. Yeah? They're middle man, fraud man, them. But if you're gonna do bad, just do bad for everyone, brother. Yeah? Or come off the bad boy thing and create unity, brother. Stop trying to do this bad boy thing and you're not even bad for an next man, next man can come and tongue in your face in front of a whole bag of people and you're not gonna do nothing. So, G, are you, fam? Don't know, fam. 95. Remember, I speak on these things, car. Man can't be calling themselves G's, you know, and getting tongue up by next G. Bro, it's just dead food, bro. You're not gonna activate, bro. You're not gonna do nothing back, brother. Yeah, man ain't no bad man, brother. But hear what I'm saying? Man ain't gonna come and touch my skin and I ain't doing nothing back. Sound like something that I say, bro. <laughs> I mean, when I say it, I think I'm a bad man. Hey, you get me? Remember I was telling man before, you know, yeah, we're gonna test this blood clot back. Remember that? Remember I'm telling man that? Yeah, we're gonna test it. It's blood clout back. You see how much men are turning up on their backs now. Yeah, we've got man fraud in the communities. We've got man rush club, like doing a madness on the road out there now. You understand? Man getting on their back. Man, man hey. I'm out.